Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Karen Lavender Clothesline. And this morning I am sitting in front of the new Goodwill, it's not even open yet, in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. So I have been impatiently waiting for this store to open and I figured I'd take a ride over today to see and scope out what the building looks like. Now, I am super excited because the building is a nice large Goodwill and this is only 10 minutes from my house. I love a big Goodwill. So so when Goodwill builds a big location, that pretty much means they know they're going to be able to stock it. And stocked building means good shopping. So hit the like and subscribe button. I will be here when this place opens and I am super excited to bring you along with me. All right, but today we're going to do some shopping. I don't know where. I'm feeling better for my poison ivy. A big shout out. Thank you to Dr. Tom who called in prednisone for me. I am feeling better. Still have a lot of rash, but it doesn't stop me from going shopping. Thank you to all of you who have wished me get well quick. I am on the mend and just grateful to be out shopping today. All right, let me see where we're going to go. I'm going to bring you along with me. Hit the like and subscribe button. Let's go thrifting together. So I am sitting in the parking lot of the new Goodwill that's not even open yet. I figured I'd come down this way and scope out the building to see how big this Goodwill is and it looks like a good one. Let's take a walk over and see the new Goodwill that's coming about 10 minutes from my house. Okay guys, I am standing outside the new Goodwill, Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. Look at this beautiful new store coming soon. So I have been waiting for this store to open for probably close to a year. This is the new store that will be replacing the pop-up store in Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. And as you can see, it is a nice big Goodwill. So like I said, Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. And I am very excited to have another big Goodwill by me. All right, I figured I would just pull in and show you guys what the building looks like. I will leave the address of this Goodwill down below in the description of the video so you guys can all come shopping with me. This is Goodwill, the Keystone area. And like I always say, for Goodwill to build a building this large, hopefully you can hear me with all of this traffic, for them to build a building this large, they must know that they're gonna have a lot of inventory coming in. Pennsylvania is rich in donations and as a reseller i couldn't be more happy all right you know i'm gonna be here the minute this thing opens the minute i get the word all right let's go shopping at a goodwill that is open i didn't realize that mount joy gift and thrift is like five minutes down the road from the new goodwill i haven't been here in a while this is a small thrift store that a lot of times their prices are high and i don't find much you know they feel every piece is a treasure but i'm gonna take you in we're gonna go shopping i figure I'm right here five minutes down the road and i haven't been here in a while all right let's go in and see if we can find anything okay so this is what mount joy gift and thrift looks like and it's probably been, I don't know, maybe four months, six months since I've been here. Are they open? Yes. <laughs> Little pillows. Not even in the front door and I'm looking. So when you first come in, they have a little game room, which I wish I knew games better. ESPN, All Sports Trivia Challenge. Let's see if I can reach this one. 1,500 questions, 10 categories, one champion. Huh, never heard of that before. Let's see what this one is, the Uzzle. I'm gonna have to comp every game. $9.99. I wonder what's on sale today. I wonder if they have a color tag. Try Ominos. Oh, I wish Roger was with me. Today is our one year dating anniversary. And we will be hanging out later, but he's not with me right now. What would you pick up, Roger? Okay, puzzles, baskets. I don't see any baskets of note. 
Looks like they have a Christmas room. I love how organized they are with all the cords. I probably need another phone charger, but I'm not gonna take time to do that now. And nowadays they're so inexpensive. Electronics, cases. Maybe I'll go through these cases a little bit. This looks like a good camera case. What do they want for this? 250, huh, all right. That seems really nice. Clean condition. Am I looking right at the Brandon? I might give that a try. Let's see what's in here. Another camera case. Some tins. Little Superman tin looks like it has some age to it. 50 cents. <laughs> Am I looking right at a date? Do tins even have dates? I feel like they should. Oh, there we go. I might take that too. All right, we're going to make a little pile right here on the floor. A little Garmin with a cigarette lighter. What do they want for this Garmin? $10. It's a Bentley camera. I've never heard of Bentley. Huh. Okay, so I just looked up comps on the Rika camera case. They won $250 and it says as is. When I look at it, it does have a little bit of staining and this will probably only bring maybe $9.99 to $12, so I'm going to leave it behind this time. Top shelf, lots of Temptations stoneware. Let's take a look at some of this. Oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, little spoons for a tail. What do they want for that? I don't see any price on this. Am I looking right at it? Oh, and it's missing one of his tail feathers. <laughs> one of the spoons. Oh, here it is, $8.99. They've grouped it all together. I think if it didn't have um, a missing spoon, I would, might get that. Coffee mugs, lots of dishes. So this is one of those small thrift stores that they set up like a gift shop, which can be fun. But I think I like the digging style a little bit better. Lots of glassware. It's a very large pitcher, $10 with a green striping. Oh, these are the potato chip tins. It's party pack. There's no top to that one. It's a Walt Disney Mickey plate. Let's take a look at that. Walt Disney World. Is there a date on that? No, Walt Disney Productions, 450. I'm not sure what's going on here. Plates on top of plates. Hers potato chips in a tin. No chips left. All right, let's put the enamel plate back up. $2 for the red enamel plate. I don't know that I've seen red that much. I've seen a lot of the blue splatterware. Oh, this is pretty. $6.50 for this sugar bowl. Six fifty for the plate. I guess they're selling it separately. Oh, what is this back here? Let's see if I can reach in. Okay, twenty dollars. The defenders. Is that what that says? This is Ned Foles, I believe. Twenty dollars. I think I'm gonna set this back here because. That stand is a little bit wonky and I don't want it to fall. Okay, so far we have our little Superman tin. Let's see what's on this shelf over here. Hmm. 
It's a little tollware bucket, $6.99. That's kind of cute. Do I want to get that? I might wait on it, but that's an almost. I think if this was $3, I would get that. Oh, this is pretty. $9.99. So it has a glass insert. Painted tin. Another tin. Chocolate lid. It's, this is Wilbur chocolate. Wilbur chocolate is um, home here in Pennsylvania. Okay, this is gorgeous. $12.99. This is a real horn made into a cup, Paraguay. Huh. $12.99. I'd have to run a comp on that. Some painted tins back here, trays. See if I can reach them. And how much is this? $3.50. I kind of like that. That is really nice. I might get those. Okay, so I'm just going to set them here so I can reach the other one. Let's take a look at this one. Definitely vintage. $3.50. Hand painted, very folk art. Oh, when I bent down to put the trays on the floor, I notice these little dishes. And these little green glass, what are these salt cellars? I am so unsure of what these are. Is that a salt cellar, guys? It almost looks like the legs, um, you know, something to protect your, your furniture legs and help it slide across the rug, but I think they're salt cellars. Here's a little carved wooden jar. Donegal, 2007. This might have been a prize. We have a golf course right down the way. What does that say? Something. <laughs> and this might have been the prize. That is such a guess. So it's made in Mexico, $3. If it didn't have the writing on it, I would pick that up. Oh my word, look at these planters. Gorgeous. Put this stuff down on the floor. I need a shopping cart. <laughs> wow, is this beautiful. $34.99. Oh, it's heavy. Cast iron. This is truly old. I wonder if there's markings on the bottom. See if I can do this without breaking anything. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, so they have this one and they have this one. This one is saying as is, so it's got some kind of damage on it. I don't see the damage. $50. I wonder if they would take $50 for the pair. $24.99. I might go for these. These are beautiful. What else do we see? Four dollars and fifty cents made in Japan. I think I'm gonna go for that too. Just a little trinket dish. Very pretty. But these really have my attention. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get help in find out why this one is as is because I'm not really seeing the damage on it. Lots of dishes, a hair receiver. Well, I am very excited for those Art Nouveau planters. I think that was the find of the week. They're holding them behind the counter for me. Well, I just take a little look on this side. I've gotten shoes here before that were really beautiful. I don't remember the name of them. That was quite a while ago. So I always make sure to look at what shoes they have. Dan 
fence goes. Oh, I thought these were tassels. <laughs> I love a good tassel. Oops, some cowboy boots. You can tell right away though that they're not leather. And what are these? I like these for me. Colleen Lopez. She's QVC, I think, right? Or Home Shopping Network. It's been a while since I've watched that. A few more shoes. Let's go through the wallets quickly. Oh, I remember these little coin, coin pouches. <laughs> Do they still make those? Or are those vintage? That's kind of pretty little tapestry bag. I am just all over the place today. Planters and Superman tins and shoes. <laughs> what is this, grasshoppers? Yeah. These are cloth though. How would you clean those? Not quite sure. I need shoes you can throw in the washing machine. This is a beautiful beaded purse. I'm not really feeling it. I did send out a purse this morning that was gorgeous. It was like a black uh, silk hobo purse. This looks beautiful. Mm, the leather feels a little bit cheap. I'm not feeling that one. Shoes priced as marked, and I guess this is a red tag. Nothing really jumping out at me. I do like this big tray basket for my house, but I'm not sure if they're selling this or not. Basketville. Oh, Basketville I think is in Vermont. This does have some damage, and I don't think this is meant for sale. I think it's part of their display. Okay, so this dress is catching my attention. It looks like it's missing its belt. This is Trina Turk. Boy, is that a good print. 450. Hmm. I think I might get this. So pretty. I think this will do well. I'm just going to give it. Oh, it does have its belt. Even better. That's very exciting. Not sure if this is silk or what this is made out of. Let's see if I can do this with one hand and find the care tag. 100% uh, polyester. So pretty. Let's check the armpits. Sleeveless dresses, I always check the armpits. They seem to be good. All right, that's a keeper. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. I don't even know how to say that. That's a no name, but isn't that adorable? If you want to be Minnie Mouse for Halloween, <laughs> I'll just go through some of the dresses. Talbots. Max Studio. A couple of wedding dresses. I once found a wedding dress when I was first reselling, and I knew it was good, but, you know, just being new at the game, I did not buy it, and I think that was one of my biggest mistakes. It was a high couture wedding dress, but so glad at least I got a chance to see it. As you can tell, I am all over the place. I will just about buy anything today. I'm in a mood. Okay, so that is it for dresses. Very happy with the green one. We're gonna scoot over to where are men's t-shirts. I always look for the vintage t-shirts in a store like this. This is a more modern one. It's got that double seam. See how it has two seams? You're looking for one seam. That's called single stitch. A lot of local, local businesses create them. Don't stop believing. Huh. Under Armour. Oh, the flesh. How cute is that? It's modern, but boy, is that cute. I wouldn't mind wearing that under a jean jacket. <laughs> because I feel like that some days. <laughs> Very fun. Donegal basketball. Oh, looks like a Harley Davidson, but it's not. Polaris. Donegal. This is a Nike hoodie. What do they want for this? I'm not seeing the 
Oh, here's the price on it. Seven dollars. I'll wait on that. Scuba suit. I'm not quite sure what this is. Interesting. Let's go through some of the jewelry. Three dollars. That's a lot of work. It's got a stretch band to it. So I'm not saying it's anything great, but that is very cool. Huh. Three dollars. I wonder how vintage this is. I might grab that for three dollars. I don't know. There's something about it that's really interesting. And the stones are open in the back, which I think is usually a, a sign of a better quality. <laughs> what do I know? I have no idea what I'm talking about, but we're going to get that one. Vintage jewelry for me is right up there with clear glass. I know very little about it. Clip-on earrings. A dollar. Okay, hopefully the music is not gonna kill this video oh my goodness how cute would this be with that dress Kate Spade $30 adorable $30 I'm gonna have to look that up What do they want for this one? I think it says three dollars. Not feeling it. Okay, jumped back over to shoes. <laughs> I am so scattered. Angel steps. Those look really comfortable. I think if these were a size eight, that's my size. I would get these. Nine dollars. Not too bad. It's a little picture with a bird on it. Okay, who's making this? Oh, a big nobody. Some white sandals. I just picked up that large lot of shoes. Very proud of myself. I got them all listed yesterday. I think they were 28, 30 pairs, something like that. Oh, Betty Boop. Let's stop and take a look at Betty Boop shoes. <laughs> they seem very cheaply made, but they're very cute. These are Clark's. Okay, if you guys put up with this video from me, I love you guys. <laughs> Still have poison ivy, a little bit bothering me. But you know me, I am out shopping. Okay, we've seen this side. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. I see a metallic clog. Who's making these? Oh, Legria. Score. Okay. Oh my goodness, tell me these are good. Oh, those are really good. And which ones are these? Nurse mates in a clog. Oh, those look good. And what do they want for them? Let's grab the other one. $12. Hmm, do I want these for 12? 12? 12's a little bit high. Thinking these would probably sell for 30, maybe 35. 12 to 30 or 35. That's getting a little bit close. I think I might wait on these. If these were like $6.99, I would pick them up. Oh, and see the backs? Always check the inside of the shoe, too. They've put like an adhesive comfort strip on one. So definitely going to wait on those. Glad I noticed that. Keepsake ornaments, the angels, $4.99, which will be $2.50. So we're going to take all four of those. And the next I found this Rock Santa Collectibles, Jingle Bell Rock Santa. Santa rocks and rolls to the tune of Jingle Bell Rock. Do I want that? Of course I want a Jingle Bell Santa. Okay, so these L.L. Bean Vintage Skis are wood with the poles. No idea what year they are. They seem to be in really good condition. Made in Norway. They have the case and the, what are these called, bindings? I don't even know. 
thought really cool for decorating, for putting on a wall in like a, a ski cabin. And the best part is $69.99, but green tags are a dollar. So I would get this for a dollar. Definitely putting it in the cart. So I just paid for the skis and I paid a dollar for them because they're green tagged. Today is green tags a dollar. And this went from $70 to $1. So of course now I'm thinking what else behind the counter has a green tag? So I'm gonna have an employee come over and look through all of the items to see if I can find any green tags and see if I can score something for a dollar. So here are the two planters. Art Nouveau, I'm guessing the 1920s, cast iron with their inserts. I never see them with the original inserts. I am just thrilled, over the moon thrilled for this find. So collectively they brought me 60, I'm guessing 400 easy. Super, super happy with this find. Along with a bag of Christmas at 50% off, the shoes were 50% off because they were blue tag. And what else did I get? And that fun dress. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Go out and get what's yours.